All right then, we're going to show you how to set up the Donny XT XT six one sixty. All right. Okay. Open the kite out. That's back. And that's the front. The strings on. Make sure the strings don't get tangled around this middle bit here. And just pull them up because we're going to put the bottom poles on here. And now we're going to talk about the poles. All right, these are the bottom poles. As you can see, got the little uh, rubbery bits on. They fit onto here. Demonstrate that now. Is it just a push in pulls? Push in. Like normal. And you get the other one. Put the, It's easier to put the middle one on first, then out to the out, into the middle. And same so one for this. Make sure the string actually goes outside this and not around it. Otherwise, it'll steal some of your performance of the kite. Uh, just doing the same thing on this side. Exactly the same, it's like symmetry. Alright then, this is just your pull. Just a normal pull, carbon pull. See, yeah. And make sure you pull these back down so it doesn't get um, tangled around. Same in this one. Just, just keep like yeah. this up and down like that. Just keeps the upper edges out. Alright. Now I'm going to pass you to Josh and I'm going to do the strings. As you can see, the strings are already laid out from our last attempt. We thought we'd just do the video again. So I'll pass you over. Okay then, we're going right. to, Ben's going to show you how to do his easiest knot on tying them up. In the books it'll tell you to do something different. But when you're out on the field and you want to get up your kite quickly while it's still windy, it's quite easy. It comes as a normal string. What you do is just can see that so that's just a normal knot in it right and these go onto the loop which is came with the kite and there i'll set up this kite when i bought it i had nothing to do except put the pulls in like we're doing now all right so we'll just loop it through the um, loop we'll go over the top and under this is just a normal knot like you tie on your shoelace before the bow just pull both of them tight like that and then try and pull it through and if you, you can see that little knot that we tied on before that actually stops it going through the normal knot and this is the easiest knot to do while you're on out on the field instead of a little loopy one like it says in the manual so I'll do the same on the other one okay guys this, we're just going to do the same on the other side and then we will see if we can get it up today because it's not very windy. We do keep getting little bits. And we're just at a normal playfield park in the UK. All right, so that's pulled tight there. And we're just actually going to leave the kite down like this. Well, what, what we're going to actually do is pull it into the wind. So make sure that inside of the kite, this bit with the strings and uh, pulls on, is into the wind and then it'll actually the wind will push it and pull it up so we're going to go over to the handles now making sure that the string's nice and um, straight as you can see here uh, from our early attempt there is a little uh, twist, twist, in twist in it and as you can see there it does get stuck on so your normal you do is just go like this walking it out They do, they are found. Keep turning around so you can actually see, make sure the kite's not taking off. And we'll get to the handles if there's a twist in. Just put the handles round, common sense. Okay, guys, there's the uh, kite there still on the floor. Ben's just pulling the strings tight just to make it an easy lift to get the kite back into the wind. We've got a little bit of wind now. There's a little loop on the bottom, so we have to do that before we take off. You have to make sure that it's not looped around anything like the blue one here on the right hand side. So okay, these are just your normal uh, circle ring handles. circle handles that you get with the kite. There's nothing special about them. There's nothing special about them apart from the round, really. What you normally get is actually a spool, which is just just like one of them, but you hold on to the edges. But not on these stunt kites, because you need two things, how to turn it. And this is a kite that's designed so you don't run with it so it takes off. All you do is just pull on it, you stand still, unless it's falling down. 
Okay guys, all he's done now is pulled the strings tight, the kite's lifted up and we're now just waiting for a bit of wind like there is now. And we're up. We'll do another video on that in a sec. And we'll also tell you where to go into the wind. Alright, we're going to end this now. Okay then guys, thanks for watching the uh, introduction on flying and the basic takeoff. See you later.